Well, I have full confidence in my friend and colleague, Minister Helen McEntee. I'm proud of her. I'm proud of her work. Kim Corley, the Irish people wanted political leaders to stand united, to stand united behind the Gardaí, behind our Minister for Justice, and against the thugs who set this city alight. The Minister wanted to park politics. She picked up the phone and offered that to the Leader of the Opposition, but they refused. Minister McEntee and the Government support the Gardaí. We stand with them, we stand with Garda families. Contrast that with Deputy MacDonald, a deputy who threw a party for a man who collected a Garda killer from the prison gates. A deputy who would appoint people to cabinet who have been arrested and charged for abusing Garda, who would appoint people who have evaded the arrest of the Garda. Such people are sitting on those Sinn Féin benches. Deputy MacDonald wanted people to hashtag make the change and vote for a popular and respected member of the community. That person turned out to be the waterboarding torturer, Jonathan Dowdle. What pathetic judgment. Now, Sinn Féin have had a good run, but people are starting to see that nothing is more important to Sinn Féin than Sinn Féin. Wherever the wind blows, Sinn Féin goes. They're in favour of increased health budgets, but they actually promise less than the government delivers. They're in favour of home ownership, while opposing every single support we put in place to help people buy their own home. They're in favour of building more houses while opposing 800 houses in this city alone this year. In favour of tackling climate action while opposing every action that we need to take. They're pro-European, but they voted against every referendum on Europe, including the one to join it. And apparently they're pro-free media, despite 18 legal actions being taken by their party and God knows how many other legal letters sent. Well, the Irish people can see through them. Because on the big issues and on the big days, one thing is consistent they're always on the wrong side. People want unity, they want division. Sinn Féin is now following the populist playbook, a playbook that elected a reality TV star as President of the United States and sent Nigel Farage to Europe. Maybe Mary Lou could join them on the next reality TV show. I'm a populist, get me out of here. They attack the media, they demonise and dehumanise their opponents, they call for heads, they offer no solutions, they exploit every crisis, and this is the worst example of it, because Sinn Féin's priority, Kian Corla, is and only ever will be Sinn Féin.